morning everybody it's 10 35 a.m sunday july 24th i think bob is doing a few chores downstairs including including i think finishing the pond um repair we had a leak in our little pond in the backyard anyway um the vegetables i transplanted yesterday uh from the seedling pots seem to be doing really well um in the spots i picked so i mean i've tried growing tomatoes and stuff before with a little bit of success we don't get the most sun in our backyard i don't think this is the best spot to grow things like that but i mean we'll see we'll try one more time um the kids are going to come take the rest of the seedlings at some point maybe not today but um soon i'll keep them watered in between and i got mood boards done for the facebook group for august september and october just now i need to do my august sketchbooks and get those prepped um, I'm going to be away from the sketchbooks for a bit in August, so I need to do a few drawings ahead. And I also printed said mood boards that I just created, and I have a um, composition notebook. I'm keeping them all in, so um, I'm going to cut them out and add them. Anyway, I know it's a lot. I'm also doing dishes and laundry, and it's Sunday, so it's chore day. Um, I may try to get the vlog edited today too. Bob has a Masonic thing he's going to go out to this afternoon and I might try to edit the vlog while he's gone and get that done ahead of time um, and get it loaded and stuff for Wednesday so I don't have to do it tomorrow. Maybe. We'll see. I'll be back. Too hot out here. I want to get the seedlings watered. I've got the, all the work for, well, I got a lot of work for this morning done. I got the mood boards done. I got the journals ready. I got all the video clips for last week's log loaded to the computer and they're ready to edit. Uh, they're all formatted and ready to edit, um, which I'm going to do after lunch. And then I'm going to work on drawings for today and also all the daily drawings for the first week of August. So in the meantime, I'm going to check on everything I moved around in the backyard for ourselves. I'm going to water the seedlings the kids are going to take, keep everything alive until they can find their new home, and then have lunch, because that sounds like a plan, I think. I'll be back. Getting the list done. So I got the vlog edited a day early, and out of the video footage I shot for said vlog, I got two patron videos, so they get extended cuts of things, like me painting at the easel and stuff like that. FYI, if you want, it's only $2 a month. So check it out. Anyway, um, Patreon link is down below. Anyway, um, so I got that done and the first of the three videos is loading um, the Patreon patrons from Patreon. Patrons and supporters have their own private YouTube channel that you don't get access to unless you know, you're one of them. So anyway, after the main vlog is loaded, I'll load the stuff to the patron channel. Uh, dishes are done, laundry is working. All the posts I needed to do and schedule are done. The August journals are done. I just need to sit and do some drawing now. Um, drink some water while things are loading. The air conditioner's on because now it's almost three o'clock. So um, we're hitting our like peak temperature right now that we're gonna get. Uh, so today's the first hot day of the next week is going to be hot. We got heat warnings just now. I got a, a text message and an email because that's a thing. I was going to go walking when I got to the point where the videos were loading, but now it's excessively hot outside. So as you can see, I'm doing laps around the sofa. I, I don't know. Yeah. It's a thing. I'll be back. You guys, have I vlogged yet today? I don't think so. It is Monday morning. I'm sorry, Monday afternoon, July 25th. It's 1.12 p.m. I have been catching up my watercolor sketchbook there. I've been, that's all caught up. I usually print a bunch of things, reference photos I wanna draw from. I don't always draw them all. Um, 
sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. This time I only drew three out of the ones I printed, so I should be more careful about what I print. But anyway, um, that's all done. I've had lunch. I'm gonna go downstairs because I've got to do dishes because the dish, the sink is full. Anyway, it's gonna be somewhere between 98 and 100 degrees today. But bonus, Bob's car should be finished and we might be able to pick it up tonight. Um, I need to go bring the garbage cans in, you know, exciting stuff. I, I have a bunch. Everybody, it's already like 10, 36 a.m. It's Tuesday, July 26th, and it's already 82 degrees outside. I'm gonna go get a few steps in before it gets any hotter and do a little neighborhood sketching. So we'll see what we can see. It is already warm now, I can tell you that. All right, let's get to it, shall we? starting to get sweaty. I have one more drawing to do, but I think I'm gonna head towards home. Uh, I don't wanna have to take another shower again, but yeah, it is warm already. I'll be back.
so the furnace guy was here, uh, furnace and air conditioner. He checked everything out. Good thing they came. Um, they haven't really had a chance and we haven't had a chance to double check the new air conditioner since they installed it because they installed it in the middle of winter and until recently hasn't been hot enough for us to even use it. Uh, if you're following me, you know, last week we had a problem with it make the condenser making a funny noise outside and they were able to fix it. I have like, what is that? And that, anyway. Um, but he came today for a complete system service. And I'm glad he did because he found a little bit of condensation in the furnace closet upstairs. There's a drip pan. It didn't damage anything, but um, it took him a little bit and he was kind of new to figure out what it was. I do think he's fixed it. Cross your fingers. We're going to keep an eye on it. And um, if it's not, we'll call him back out. And yeah, <sighs> it was an adventurous day. At the same time, my daughter is working on something for me and she's asking me for photos from the Yahoo small business photo shoot I did for them in 2018. Um, that was a long time ago. <laughs> and so it took me like two hours to find set photos. I do think I found them. I did tell her I have a lot of stuff on a backup drive. If she wants to just come over and just take the backup drive, that might be easier, but it also might be easier for us to just do a new photo shoot. She is a photographer, fun fact, besides a realtor and um, an expert in um, advertising and social media. So, you know, anyway, I don't know what we're going to do, but I'm guessing there's a photo shoot on my horizon. Oh, yay. <laughs> I'm going to go sit down now and have a snack and have some water and decompress a little bit. <laughs> All right, I'll be right Morning. back. It is 9.57 a.m. Wednesday, July 27th. I already had my counseling appointment this morning. Um, really helped a lot, helps a lot to talk through things with somebody. Um, if you're struggling from anxiety or depression or any other mental health issue, there's no shame in seeking help. Um, medication, counseling, therapy, like do it. I'll put a link for someplace here in the US um, that you may be able to call. Um, or email to get some help or get references for place to get help. If you're in a different part of the world and you have a link I should put below, let me know. All right, we are waiting for the furnace people to come yes. because they thought they fixed the condensation leak. 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 Only it's still leaking. A little bit. A little bit. Yes. So they're going to come take a second look at it. Plus, I think both of us feel like the kid yesterday was very sweet, very honest, and did a great job, but he admitted that he's new. So, did he do fix it right? We don't know. Well, he did his best. He did, did as, as much as he could. He did his best. That's what he said. And that's fine. Yep. But he said if it was still leaking to call back, so we did. Yep. All right. <sighs> and I can't do anything else till they get there here and that gets over with, so that's okay. All right, I'll be back. You guys, the furnace and air conditioner guy has been here on and off all day. He thought he put a temporary like fixed thing on it, but we probably need new parts. Um, again, it is under warranty. Anyway, after he left, the temporary fix started spraying water everywhere. So he's back. This would happen during a heat wave. <laughs> anyway. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is um, 9.16 a.m. Thursday, July 28th. Yes, I want to say January again. It is not January. Not yet, anyway. Um, I am just not capable of multitasking, so hang on. Let me log into the computer. Uh, that's not the right password because, you know... Okay, let's see. There we go. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. I'm just taping. Oh, okay. So, yes, the air conditioner unit is got an issue still, um, but we can run it. Um, we seem to have some faulty parts, and it's not allowing for proper drainage of the water condensation in the air conditioner unit when it's on. 
Thankfully, we have a drip pan under set unit here in the house, which is actually here in the art room, like over there. Um, so there's no chance of it leaking or flooding or anything like that. Um, we'll keep an eye on it, but of course they don't have the parts in stock and um, it'll be um, a week or so before they can get the parts and get back here to fix it. So we will be cautious about using it and keeping an eye on it. And that's okay because we don't generally use it a ton anyway. We are going to have a couple hundred plus degree days coming up here at the end of the week, but we have found if we leave upstairs windows open all night, it does cool off the house significantly. And then, you know, when the inside temperature meets the outside temperature, you close everything up and then the house will warm up at some point and we'll keep fans on and then we will turn it on and just keep an eye on it. So anyway, fun times, right? In the meantime, was fun. tried to film some videos using my arm, art foamies and I kept having battery issues. So my camera batteries, some of them are not holding a charge anymore because they're old. So I guess I'm going to have to order some new batteries. So that might be a thing. <sighs> Lovely. I'll be back. Guys, cookie dough is made. It is chilling in the fridge. Um, lemon lavender cookies and the raw dough tastes great so unless they bake up weird or something uh, hey they're gonna be good so all right now let's go see if we can edit some more of the video I shot this morning you guys to my huge surprise we did get three art foamy videos out of all that footage despite the battery issues and it's been edited and it's loading right now scheduled out um over the month next month uh, and here's the secret i'm coming out with some new art foamy designs the samples come in um sometime next week and i will be showing them um after i have a chance to get them and play with them and um kp will be doing some lives with them and yeah, anyway, now I'm gonna go brave the heat and check the mail. Cause yeah, it's gross outside. He's just up there staring at me. I'm just waiting, you just finish. Yeah, see. I wanna interrupt your uh, vlog. Hey right, guys, be... it is just about 9.30 in the morning on Friday, July 29th. And yes, I just constantly wanna say January this month, but anyway. I have an eye doctor's appointment this morning and those of you who know my journey with my anxiety and depression know that medical things are one of my triggers and pardon my choice of words but I have fucked up eyes uh, I have since I was born um, legally blind without corrective lenses that's you know and now I'm older I have mild bilateral cataracts so you know anyway um, so I am just allowing myself time to get there and not rush, remembering my breathing techniques. So I carry in my wallet, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, a little card I laminated that has um, the breathing techniques on one side that were recommended by my counselor and the 54321 calming technique on the other. I'll try to put some links for both down below. And um, so you breathe in for a count of four, hold it for a count of four, breathe out for a count of four, hold that for a count of four. And I know it sounds like simple and sort of silly, uh, but it does really work. I'll be doing it on my way to the doctor's office this morning and I am going to run a couple errands on my way there. My guess is they're going to probably dilate me and I'm going to get a headache afterwards. So I want to get anything I want to get done before I go so I can just get myself home afterwards and not have to like deal with it. So <sighs> breathe. Just remember to breathe. All right. I'll be back. Morning. 
It is an almost 9.30 a.m. Saturday, July 30th, I think. Yeah, pretty sure. Anyway, Bob is off to his eye doctor appointment and I've already got all the plants watered inside and out. Um, I have to finish my coffee and do some dishes, do something with this hair. Um, we are meeting the kids later um, tonight for dinner. Uh, Polyus's parents are in town helping him, them with some DIY and we're gonna meet for dinner later to celebrate my birthday because my birthday's in a couple of days. So anyway, I will probably close the vlog early at some point today so I can get it edited before we go do that. But all of that will be included in next week's vlog. Anyway, I'm gonna do something with my hair right now and then I'm gonna sit and I haven't finished my coffee yet. That's important. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so it's about 5.30. We were gonna meet the kids and our daughters-in-laws and everybody for dinner, but there's some stuff going on, so we're not, we're not doing that. So I'll have a birthday dinner with them later. Um, but dad, Bob and I are gonna go out and we are gonna go get some barbecue. And then we are gonna get on with the rest of our week. And I'll be back. Hey guys, man, that was a good dinner. Buster's Texas style barbecue. If you're in the Portland, Oregon area, check it out. I love their smoked brisket salad. It's good. Anyway, dad lo loved his, his food. <laughs> None of us were very hungry and yet we cleaned our plates. Anyway, uh, it's been an interesting week. Our air conditioner, yes, as I've said, is got a condensation leak and Thankfully, things are going into the drip pan and we're just not using it if we don't have to. Um, and it will be fixed. It is under warranty, but it's going to take like two weeks to get parks in because that's a thing. In the meantime, we have something else going on, something special, but that'll be in next week's vlog. If you want live updated video clips, mostly unedited, yeah. You need to be a patron or supporter. They get a first look at some stuff. So there's that. Um, but it'll be coming up in the next vlog. So stay tuned. Please like, share, and subscribe. You know, it hasn't been too bad of a week. I mean, you know, life gets in the way of making art some days. And that's just what it is. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I'll make it up soon. Anyway, I hope it's been good for you. It's been good for me. Um, don't forget to check out the video description for relevant links. By the way, one thing I don't think I showed on camera this week, I made these really great lemon lavender cookies. They're a big hit with everybody. Um, yeah, I'll be making them again. I need more edible lavender though. If I can find the recipe I used, I'll link it down below. Really good and not too, not too hard. Also, of course, it's summertime, iced coffee, cause you know. Anyway, go out and do something nice for yourself cause you deserve it. Have a great day, have a great week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.